I was interested in science oh, from a very young age. Uh, I was always interested in the nature study classes at school and uh, I convinced my mother that I should get a beehive when I was eight years old. So that was <laughs> a pretty early start. And uh, for a long time I thought I'd like to be an entomologist, but uh, it hasn't turned out that way. But I've been interested in science um, as long as I can remember. I work in uh, an area called molecular genetics, and in particular uh, we work on the study of enzymes that metabolize drugs, and so we look at the, the genetics of those, those enzymes, and some people are deficient, and some people have too much, so uh, that affects the rate that they metabolize drugs, and sometimes there are adverse reactions if you're deficient in particular drugs. Oh, I certainly like discovering something new. Uh, it's a very competitive process, scientific research, because they have lots of colleagues and collaborators in the country and around the world. But we also have competitors, and they're all trying to discover new things. So that's what makes it work so well, that uh, everybody's competing to be the first to discover something. So it's an exciting competition to be in. We're always on the lookout for new students because they bring new life to the laboratory and uh, new perspectives and so we, we're always looking for new students and the type of student I'm looking for is somebody who, well I guess it's somebody who likes doing experiments and is interested in, in the work, not just doing it as a means to getting a job later on. I think a person's got to be committed to uh, sort of scientific investigation. Uh, some science is it's theoretical and you can do it with a pen and paper, but uh, in, in sort of molecular biology and uh, proteomics, you have to be able to actually do things with your hands and, and do experiments. And so that's always a, an important attribute in, in students.